Welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to show difference in sales between two years. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here we have a bar chart that compares sales of different categories in the year 2016 and 2017. Red bar represents sales in the year 2016 and the blue bar represents sales in the year 2017. And here we can see what is the difference in the sales between the two years. Using this chart, we want to compare sales in 2016 with the sales in 2017 and also we need to find out by what amount sales in 2017 was more or less than the year 2016. For furniture category, sales in 2016 was $199K and the sales in 2017 was $215K and the difference between the sales in 2017 and 2016 was 16 k dollars so for furniture category the sales in 2017 was more than that in 2016 by 16 k dollars in case of each of the category we can see that the sales in 2017 was more than that in 2016 and these small lines will tell us by what amount the sales in 2017 was more than that in the year 2016. The benefit of using these lines is that the user won't have to manually calculate the difference in sales between the two years. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to create a view similar to this one. We have to compare sales in 2016 with sales in 2017. So we will create two separate calculated fields, one for the year 2017 and another one for the year 2016. So click on the drop down, click on create calculated field. Let's name it sales in 2016. And here write down the formula. If year of order date equal to 2016 then sales and so here we are telling tableau to filter out all those rows where the year of order date is equal to 2016 click on ok now to create a similar field for sales in 2017 just duplicate this field click on the drop down click on duplicate now let's edit this field click on the drop down click on edit let's name it 2017 and here we will write down the formula if year of order date is equal to 2017 then sales so similarly here we are telling tableau to filter out all those rows where the year of order date is equal to 2017 click on ok now drag category to row shelf now drag sales in 2016 calculated field that we have created to columns now to get 2016 and 2017 sales bar next to each other for each of the category drag sales in 2017 to this axis to create a blended access chart blended access chart is that where we can compare multiple measures using the same axis let's change the fit to entire view now to create another bar next to 2017 to show the difference in sales just create a copy of this sales in 2017 field click on the drop down click on duplicate and drag this to column shelf next to measure values 
and change it to a dual axis chart click on the drop down and select dual axis now select measure values under marks card and we will select bar for measure values and select gantt bar for sales copy field now to get the difference in sales between the two years let's create a new calculated field click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it difference and here we will write down the formula sum of sales in 2016 minus sum of sales in 2017 So this calculated field will basically give us the difference in sales between the two years. Click on OK. Now make sure sales in 2017 copy field is selected under marks card. Drag difference to size. Let's decrease the size of these Gantt bars to show small lines. Now let's hide this axis. Right click, uncheck show header. Let's hide this year header. Right click on measure names and uncheck show header. Let's add year and the sales value inside these bars. Make sure measure values is selected under marks card. Now drag measure names to label. Then drag. measure values also to the label now let's edit the label click this label and go to alignment uh, let's select left let's change the format of sales field to show the sales in terms of thousands uh right click on measure values click on format go to numbers go to currency custom we don't want to show any decimal places let's select display unit as thousands and the prefix as dollar sign close this format measure values now to label these lines to see by what amount the sales in 2017 was more or less than the sales in 2016 for that we will create a new calculated field click on create calculated field this will be difference label and write down the formula sum of sales in 2017 minus sum of sales in 2016 so this calculated field will tell us the amount by which sales in 2017 was more or less than sales in 2016 click on okay now drag this difference label to label make sure sales in 2017 copy field is selected now let's also change the format of this field to show the sales in terms of thousands right click click on format go to numbers click on currency custom we don't want to show any decimal places select thousands and under prefix select dollar sign so now we can see the difference in sales between the two years for each of the category so for furniture category the sales in 2016 was 199k dollars then the sales in 2017 for furniture category was 215k dollars and 16k dollars is the difference in sales between the two years let's hide this category field label right click and click on hide field labels for rows let's remove these grid lines right click click on format then go to borders select none for the row divider then select none for the column divider go to 
lines and let's select none for the zero lines then go to columns select none for the grid lines click anywhere outside you can give colors of your preference to these bars let's edit the tooltips here go to tooltip remove this and keep only difference label field here let's name it only difference in sales between 2017 and 2016 click on ok so in this way you can add these gantt bars that will basically show us the difference in sales between the two years and the user won't have to manually calculate the difference in sales close this format lines window here you will observe that these lines are not exactly showing the difference between the bars and the lines are starting from somewhere in the middle of this 2016 bar the lines should show this exact difference between the sales in 2017 and sales in 2016 this issue here we are facing is because i forgot to synchronize both the axes while creating a dual axis chart so let's again show the axis right click on measure values click on show header now right click on this axis and click on synchronize axis now again we can hide this axis right click and uncheck show header now we can see that these lines are showing the exact difference between the sales in 2016 and the sales in 2017 synchronizing both the axes is an important step uh, while creating a dual axis chart so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this session see you in the next tutorial